This trip is thanks to our sponsors, Courtney and Callum, who kindly donated the van for our use. And of course, Finn and Jen, who have provided us with Packraft gear, including Packraft, paddles, helmets, life jackets, dry suit, and more. Thanks, Finn and Jen. Thanks, Courtney and Callum. Now, on with the show. Start of the trail. Where we could have been on the river, but we're too scared. And here we are, our boat landing spot. It's sweaty already. We've only been walking for five minutes. <laughs> Perfect. Little harbour. Beautiful views. Ready for the adventure. All right. And after an hour, maybe more, we're almost ready. Time to put the paddles together. Paddles together. Like, as in like, they're in two halves, so they need to be in one. We're doing it. Give me a T. Give me a... Uh, S is too hard, so you're gonna have to change the name. What's, the, just what's the tea in this for? What? Oh, Tomas. T for Tomas, yeah. That's who I am. <laughs> uh, you're so. <laughs> but we're just gonna call you Lillian for this trip because uh, that's easier to do. Is that L? Am I doing it the right way? No, the other way. Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> loser! No! Well, hopefully, you're a bit more successful on the water. Paddling along! On the There he is, Chief Navigator. Paddle down. We've got out because we definitely do not want to paddle down what's down here. Plus, it gave us the perfect opportunity to finally eat some lunch. Happy? There he is, obviously, the rapids. Soph and I, this is our audition to be the donkey in the Christmas play. You ready? Can you make the sound, Soph? Yeah. Oh, we were so hopeful for this to work. But we're gonna have to pack the wraps. <laughs> pack wraps. This is our entrance point, which is a little bit terrifying, but we can do it. We nailed it. Look who's the survivor. I'm a survivor! Oh, it wasn't as bad as we thought. We're big horses! <laughs> Day one. Well, evening one, and here we are at the hut that we did not expect to be at. <laughs> Which, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the tomato soup went down wrong. Tomas can't drink tomato soup. I've too, had it for years. Too many times. Too strong for me. So we are at Devil's, Devil's something. Thanks to Logan, the jet boat driver. We have crossed this lake. Woo! And so we set off from Demon Trailhead with a heap of other pack rafters on a beautiful day. Woo! The blowing of the kayak. Last one's off the beach. Okay, I've stopped paddling just a minute to get a little bit of footage on Lake Macaro. We've got the other paddlers yonder and we've got us. Yes! A little bit of a breeze but it's not too bad. Sunshine's nearly on us. We are loving it. There he is. Kayaking extraordinary. Oh, yeah. He's been steering us wrong the whole time, but he won't take my feedback. <laughs> And 
now for our stint on the Hollyford. The bougie life. Feet. It's moss. And then Anne and Ben. Living la vida jet life. <laughs> the day we are. This is it. Have my whistle Living our there. best lives. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Oh, sorry, you did. Jean, River, <laughs> Sunset. Oh, but the French have it right. They spend like so much of their weight or like their pay on food. It's day three and we're off to a bit of a slower start. Well, not slower. We've enjoyed a nice morning with Ben and Anne in this beautiful wee spot. And now we're getting ready to go. This is the route to Big Bay, which is a little bit more challenging than expected. Already cracked my knee, Mossy dropped his water bottle, but we have eaten some delicious frittatas. Which way? This way. Um, so I think we'll get there. Just might take a little bit more time than we thought. This isn't the easiest thing. Ah. Doing it. Do it. Get real low like a gremlin. Real gremlin walk. Lower. Gremlin. Keep reversing. Don't stand up yet. Stand up. Yes. That's a moonwalking gremlin. Oh shit. <sighs> Darn it. You didn't even get close to the mud, did you? Looks like we have a wiener. Yeah. We have a wiener. Oh, thank you, folks. Oh. Yeah, a big wiener. We made it out of the crazy bush onto the beautiful coast. And somewhere down there is Big Bay Hut. We've found our way onto the four-wheel drive track. Thanks, Finn's GPX files. We are five hours into our hike and we are still about, still at the bottom of three mile beach to Big Bay. Definitely harder than I expected, though very beautiful. Um, Mossy's just back there. Um, having a few issues with some thorns. But hopefully we should be getting to Big Bay in the next hour, which should take us to about, I think, quarter past four, and then we'll see how we go. Maybe do another hour and a half of hiking, get to the knoll, so that tomorrow we can get to the pike early and get kayaking. Mossy has um, misplaced his pole, so now he's had to run back, and we have still got to go all the way to here to get to um, Big Bay Port, and then our plan was to go over the hills, like somewhere around here, to um, camp to start the hike. But I don't actually think we'll get to there today. It's getting on. Been hiking for hours and hours with these big backs. So, uh, we'll see. Reunited with his pole, thanks to. So good. <laughs> So good. Da -da -da.
Thanks to me. Thanks for praying so much. Big baby. <laughs> Hello. Uh, delivery for Sophia White. Thanks. Sophia Lillian White. Thank you. Hey, big baby. I can't believe you just did that. This is um, one of the rivers that you can cross at low tide. We were told it's knee deep somewhere, but not quite figured out where that is. So we're going for the old crotch deep crossing. Looking good, honey. It's very it is very slippery. This must be the dry. Awarua River. Don't get wet. You gonna get the pack raft out? More pack, less raft. Here we are on the pike. Midday. We've had our lunch. Blown up a raft. Marcy's got blisters. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm always nervous. Trying to manage this. Which I think maybe I need to help now. The water is so clear. Taxi. Hello. We just crossed Lake Wilmot, which is a little bit breezy. Well, it's alright. And the river's right in the far tree right corner. There we are in the next river. Trying to get some snacks. Where's the bunker bath? And here we are at the gravel beach of Olivine Horse, which is up here. Tomas is feeling fresh. Fresh as a daisy. He's gutted that he lost the Who Am My game and he's got to give me a massage first. That's right. Luckily, we have hooked ourselves. Oh, my blisters are burst. Ew. This is the Fashion Awards for Olivine Huth. Blue man. Blue butt. <laughs> Unbelievable. The demonstration of the giveaway. This is home for the night, Olivine Hut. And in crazy reality, we're now helping Trevor across the bay, the river. Yes! And today, before we've pack rafted, Trevor, it easy on our American tra tramp and friend. Gosh, could you be asked with this weather? I just want to get going and pack rafts before the rain comes again. Anyway, <laughs> life's for living, and he's living. We're two kilometers to go to Lake Alabasta Horse. Unbelievable conditions on the lake. There he is, Chief Navigator, living his best life. The engine. The engine. And I am the skipper. I just uh, have all the responsibility. 
There's a rainbow. Here we have alabaster hoods. And we've almost finished the pack rafting. Sad. After a couple of hours to dry off, have some warm food, read our books, we are now heading off to Sunshine Hut or Hidden Falls Hut. And hopefully we'll get there by like 6 pm. It's half two right now. Weather has cleared up and it is beautiful here. Pike Lodge, where Anne and Ben also work sometimes. Onwards! Now for the narrowest passage of the trip. I should probably go down on my... I might have to go down on my hands and knees. Really? Yes, nice, nice. Lean back, lean back, hug the tree. Okay. Lean back, you. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be a tree hugger like this. Oh my god. Well done. We could have like paid for a little bit more timber, huh? <laughs> just a little bit. Right, get lower. Can't really see you. Head in the light more. Okay, it's a video. Oh! <laughs> Big Homer would be angry. <laughs> Don't. I got you. <laughs> hey. Wee. Morning views from. Hidden Falls Hut. Final little section today, just out of the road end. How idyllic is this? This is typically how we start our days with the horse <laughs> wondering if he's packed everything. And today. Oh, I, I think I've, I've packed it. I've packed it. He has packed it. <laughs> What you really, really want? Wanna, oh, wanna, 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 really, really, really wanna zig a zig. Ah! Come on, Tomas! End of our trip. Still talking to each other. Oh, ah! Oh, I think this might be only one person suspension, actually. <laughs> ah! Ah! Anyway, it's been a great trip. Survived, kayaked, walked, ate, talked, had a great time would recommend. Look at those views. Oh look, we're both videoing. Hey! He's not letting, he's not speaking because he doesn't want to ruin his video. He's the silent type. I'm the narrative type. Actually he is a bit of a narrator as well, fancies himself as an Irish David Attenborough, but with a less, less of the knowledge of the actual natural world. But don't tell him I said that. 